Hi, my name's John. I'm the founder and director of Young Digital Group and today I just want to talk quickly about security and why you need to be secure online. There's so many hackers out there that are just mining for data. So what they're looking for is passwords um, that can hack into your financial details to your, to your accounts online. So you need to protect that as best you can. So what I'd recommend is, first of all, don't use the same password on more than one site. So have one password um, per site. Now, for a lot of you, you're gonna have lots of different sites that you access on a regular basis. So that means a lot of passwords. I know that I have hundreds of different sites, different accounts, but I make sure that none of those accounts have the same password. So that if, if one is compromised, then I'm not losing uh, out on other accounts because the same password won't be effective on those other accounts. Now, how do you manage all of that? Well, there's different password um, systems that you can use that encrypt your password. So what does all this mean? Well, there's a program called LastPass, which is one that I use. It's one of the many, there's others, there's KeyPass and there's a few others. But LastPass, what it does is it stores your password in an encrypted way, which means that you have one password which kind of unencrypts or it um, allows you to access your passwords on your computer. But when it transfers via the internet, it's in an encrypted um, uh, password, which means it can't be read without the key. And the key is your main password, your last pass password. So what do you do? You install LastPass on your browser. Um, Whenever you go and log in on a site, it will then ask, would you like to save that to LastPass? And so you agree. And you don't have to remember those passwords. It stores it for you. All you need to remember is your one main password and then accesses your vault, the LastPass vault. Now, when you go to create a new account, you can actually generate a secure password and you can make that 10 characters long if you like, and you can include uh, lowercase, uppercase, special characters, but you don't have to remember that because it's in the vault. I guess the big flaw to that system is that if you've only got one password to access that vault, then what happens if that password goes? Well, the other um, way to fix that is to use um, two-step verification. So what that is, is having a password as one step, but then also having something physical that you have. And that's usually, say, uh, a mobile phone. And there's an app that you can get, and it's called um, Authenticator. And basically what it does is it generates numbers for you. So it will, um, it will restart every uh, 60 seconds, a new number will be generated. That means when you go to log into LastPass and you put your password in, it will then ask you what is the number that is on your phone. So you open up the app, get the number and put that in. So that two-step verification just makes it even more secure. So um, don't use the same passwords on you know, multiple usernames. Have individual passwords per site. And the best way to do that is to have a password manager. LastPass is one that I recommend and that I use, but there are others available and have two-step verification. So to keep up with more news, tips, information on this, subscribe now and you'll stay up to date with our regular videos. Okay, thanks for watching.